um, um, what we defend is um, an observation which I think is um, is pretty factual, which is that anti-doping today has created a pretty messy situation, which uh, which comes with a certain danger. Our, our hypothesis is today that it induces more harm to society than it prevents. And that there is potential for improvement with regard to the global harm that doping and doping-like behavior brings for society if we would go about it in a less purist and, and repressive way, accepting some harm, sure, but probably in a, in a, in a limited uh, way as compared to today. It, it, it would, sure enough, change sports with regard to what, what some people still hope that it could be um, today but okay I mean sports has not always been what it is today we live in a very dynamic uh, society and, and changes come about at a very high pace much higher than in former days my, my prediction with anti-doping it will it will continue for another 10 15 years because of the of the huge um, uh, inertia that the machine now has it's become very big I mean WADA and it's worldwide and and and, it, and and there is so much money behind it. But I think things will change. And what makes me think that things will change is, well, think about the Olympics, for example. The Olympics that were amateur, then became professional. In the beginning, they had very little money. And then, of course, television kicked in and advertising. And now they have billions of dollars uh, that are negotiated, of course, with their sponsors and, and, and broadcasting um, uh, companies. Uh, um, but now we, we come to the point where it's not possible anymore. The fact that Italy said, uh, we give up, we just can't pay that, that's not possible, shows that we're probably at the dawn of something happening. It, the, the megalomania of the whole thing is probably come to, uh, coming to a, to a limit. And my, my hope is that, um, uh, that within the next 20 years, I hope it will be 20 years, it would be nice if I could still see it happening. That the, the 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 way we view doping and doping-like behavior will start to change and will kind of soften up and um, and, and 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 get out of this this um, yeah Big Brother scenario, mm -hmm. which is kind of worrying. Um, I find now back to uh, the role model. I think it's important to underline. I think it's becoming rather unfair of what we ask from an athlete today. I think the the, the International Olympic Committee and other sports federations have created an image of the perfect human being that is just too much. It's, it's just something that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the beauty of the athlete combined with, a, with an archetypal perfect behavior. It looks you, like you, a movie of Leni Riefenstahl. Exactly. You you don't beat your wife. You pay your taxes. You never drink too much. You certainly don't dope. Uh, 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 you're kind to everybody. I mean, it's, it's just illusory, and and it's and it's and it's very paradoxical. I mean, f first of all, we asked from our athletes that they kill all their competitors, and then they have to have this this fantastic behavior, if possible, utterly al altruistic too. I I think it's. It's 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 not healthy. There, there's something wrong with that, I'm, I'm, and and it, and it's and it's pushing the agenda more and more. Mm. The unfortunate thing, of course, is it's it's politically very easily sold, and politicians love this type of black and white uh, distinctions, and it makes it much easier to advance the agenda. If you want to organize the Olympics, uh, there are all kinds of conditions, and among the conditions is that you have anti-doping legislation. Unless you introduce anti-doping legis legislation, you will never given, be given the possibility of organizing the Olympics. Why has Spain been so very rapid with changing its legislation now recently? First of all, they had big problems with doping, some nice scandals. They had no anti-doping legislation at all. And they want to organize the Olympics. 